Latest in Egypt now to how the power shift may impact the U.S. KTLA's Chip Yost continues our team coverage live in Anaheim. Chip. Micah, we've talked to a lot of Egyptians in Orange County, and so far, everyone we've talked to thinks it can only get better now that Mubarak's gone. We're now at Nubia Cafe here in Anaheim on Lincoln Boulevard. I haven't done an official poll here yet, but I think I know what it's going to be. What do you guys think of the change in power today? My homeland, my homeland, they sang, even though in Anaheim, California, they were thousands of miles away from Egypt. He's the happiest person ever today. The street side celebration in this area known as Little Arabia was infectious. This is the power of the people! But when things quiet down, any professor who studies the region will tell you there is reason for caution about how the change of power in Egypt will affect the United States. First of all, Egypt's the largest Arab country. It's the very dominant country in the Middle East in its policies and its example. And secondly, uh, oil comes through that area. The Suez Canal, I think about two million barrels of, of oil per day. And what about those within Egypt? Specifically, the estimated 10 to 12 percent of the population who are Christians. These Egyptian Christian college students who moved to California as teenagers and who have been talking to their Christian and Muslim friends back home during the last two weeks aren't worried. Especially after um, all the killing and all the violence, you see that the Christians are helping out the Muslims, the Muslims are helping out the Christians, keeping each other safe. Now back live here at the Nubia Cafe, some good news on oil prices. You heard that mention there. They closed, futures closed at their lowest level in about 10 weeks. Reporting live in Anaheim, I'm Chip Yost. We'll sit back here in the studio. Chip Yost, thank you for more on the transfer of power.